one Filipino American sprinter is keeping her momentum on the track. Southeast Asian Games gold medalist Christina Knott bagged the 100 meter silver medal in the Drake Blue Oval so Showcase in the United States. She also broke at the same time the 33 year old Philippine record of the legendary Lydia De Vega in the same event. Let's hear more from Christina herself. She joins us now live from Florida in the U.S. Christina, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you so much. Wow, you broke the 100 meter dash record. That's the Philippine record by just 0 0.01 of a second of the legendary uh, Lydia De Vega. So what did it feel like when you crossed the finish line and you found out I broke the Philippine record? I didn't know. <laughs> At first I was like, okay. Um, during my race, I was like, okay, no one's next to me. So what is this? Then when I crossed the line, I thought I got first, but they put um, Kayla White and I was like, okay. And then the announcer, he was like, oh, national record. I was like, who? <laughs> but it, it, was, it was a humbling and awesome experience. Definitely a very humbling experience because it was a 33-year-old record that hasn't been broken here in the Philippines. And now you hold the records for both the 100-meter dash and the 200-meter sprint in the Philippines. That is uh, yeah. really um, a, a major milestone for a young lady like you. Thank you. So basically, um, you, you haven't spoken to Lydia De Vega uh, as of yet after breaking this 100-meter sprint record, but you met her in Singapore last year. What was it like meeting the legend? Um, it was a brief encounter because I was getting ready to warm up for my competition. Um, but so far, she's a sweet lady. You know, she was just happy to meet me. I was happy to meet her. And of course, you know what? Uh, we are currently in the midst of this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic, uh, uh, Christina. Um, how did you train for this event in Florida in, at the Drake Invitational? Um, so tracks are still kind of closed out here. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically in grass. I get to go on a track like maybe once a week, twice on a good week. But for the most part, I'm in grass. I'm still doing the same stuff, but it's just on grass. So... And has it really, guess and has your tree and has this whole pandemic affected your mindset as an elite athlete? I think it made me more hungry mm -hmm. um, as far as like grinding more because I mean we're all in the same all the athletes are kind of in the same predicament so um, it, it wasn't so much of like a oh my gosh it's like the end of the world because knowing that every athlete is in the same position as I'm in so. So what is your next goal right now, Christina? I'm sure the Tokyo Olympics uh, in less than a year is uh, something that you would really like to strive for uh, and, 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 and be a part of the Philippine contingent. Yeah, that's, my, that's the ultimate goal is to qualify for the Olympics. Um, at first, it was just for the 200, but after I ran out, I was like, okay, we can go for both. So. And I, you know, I did a little bit of research, Christina, and uh, with your current timings, you are 0.12 seconds behind the Olympic qualifying in the 100 meters and 0.21 seconds behind the 200 meter sprint. Um, yeah. Wow, you know, every millisecond counts uh, in this competition. Do you think you'll be able to achieve that in your competitions uh, this year yeah. and next year? Yes, I just got to stay consistent in my training, stay healthy, and go out there and compete. Wow, that's, but uh, that will also require a lot of hard work uh, with, with uh, as you say, uh, not a lot of uh, facilities open at the moment and very limited training. Yeah, my legs still work, so <laughs> if I got to be on concrete or grass, I'm going to get the running in. I don't have to have a track. So tell us uh, briefly, what, who are your biggest inspirations to strive for gold uh, in athletics? Um, really, I just want to get those rings tatted. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I think my, my biggest inspiration is um, my family. Um, just having them by my side and, mm. you know, 
I used to look up to my brothers as an athlete, and now they're looking up to me. So it's kind of nice to have that. And everyone, and everyone here in the Philippines is looking up to you, uh, hoping that you will uh, gain more success in uh, track and field in the coming months and, of course, in the Olympics. Thank you. Christina Knott, thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word and hope you break more records.